But let me ask you this. Is criminalization of forced labor a requirement to meet the minimum standards of the law? Um, the minimum standards certainly look at the law in every country to see whether it, they appropriately criminalize sex trafficking and labor trafficking. That would be one of the key minimum standards that would be evaluated. Uh huh. One of the key. But if, in fact, criminalization of forced labor, uh, it's not an absolute requirement to meet the minimum standards? It would be a requirement. Um, under the standards as they exist, that they have adequate laws to address both sex and labor trafficking. Well, the I report... am aware that some countries don't have laws that are consistent with the Palermo Protocol, and that's one of the major recommendations for countries, is to bring their laws into conformity with international well, standards. Well, criminalization of forced labor is a requirement, a minimum requirement, to meet the law, which is my understanding of your answer. Yes. The report confirms that Cuba does not criminalize forced labor, does not report efforts to prevent it, and does not even recognize forced labor as a problem. So how is placing Cuba on the Tier 2 watch list consistent with the minimum standards you just said, since the Cuban government is not making any effort to address it, much less uh, recognize forced labor. But Tier 2 watch list itself indicates that they do not comply with the minimum standards, and that's certainly one of the recommendations for Cuba, is that they focus more on forced labor and bring their law into conformity with the Palermo Protocol. So you cannot meet the minimum standards and still be qualified for Tier 2? Tier 2 watch list in this case. And there are other factors that are looked at, including the efforts made against sex trafficking in the country and the other laws, victim protection services, and prevention efforts. Well, All of those go into the evaluation. Yeah. Listen, uh, Ambassador, I, I appreciate your work. And my view here is to strengthen the TIPS office's hand, because I think that hand has been weakened. And I think there needs to be a clearer categorization of what is uh, sufficient, what is ultimately uh, a minimum, because it seems that we have, uh, you know, a three-card uh, three Monty game here, in which the shell keeps getting moved around. Well, when it's appropriate or when we want it, it this is a minimum standard, but when it's not, this is not a minimum standard. I, I just think it is so uh, uh, vacuous in terms of understanding what is the standards that they seem to vary depending upon the country. And I think when that happens, it will create a problem, Mr. Chairman, that doesn't make a clear and unequivocal goal of what the United States is seeking countries to do. And for those of us who have to vote on trade issues, for those of us who have to vote on aid issues and others, to understand and think that this is a critical element, as the Chairman has, because of his uh, passion uh, on the issue of uh, human slavery, uh, that that's very difficult to do if you can't have a standard that's pretty clear cut across the board.